mayor and members of council. Uh, we want to discuss this evening about the town's recycling uh, program. Just kind of an overview. Uh, we'll talk about the uh, current recycling issue with the town on this money, as well as the recycling market. Um, options that can get us through the uh, current recycling market conditions. Uh, talk a little bit about the DEQ recycling mandate and a uh, discussion about future solutions uh, from a long term standpoint. The town Front Roll Solid Waste Department collects over 400 tons of recyclables a year, with exactly 469 for 2018. Um, kind of gives you a list of some of the items we collect. Uh, the town's been using the uh, Southern Scrap in Winchester, um, like the city of Winchester and a lot of other localities, uh, for several years. Um, there's a breakdown that just kind of shows you how much recyclables dropped off. In 2017, mixed paper was bringing $32 a ton. Now it's about 2018, it was bringing $4.69 a ton, and now it's less than that. Uh, cardboard prices are at a 12 year low. Uh, in April 1st, we got a letter from Southern Scrap saying they would no longer take cardboard. If they did, it would be a $20 a ton processing fee uh, to take it. Here's an article within the paper, Winchester, Frederick County, um, talking about the same thing. Um, and they actually had an agreement with Southern Scrap, so they have actually told them that they were not going to renew their contracts. Um, the gentleman, older, he's an older gentleman, he thought he's probably going to close up shop because he can't sell the stuff. Um, we've been taking some there and there, when he'll take it, it's been very slim. So a lot of it we're just stockpiling currently and bins until we can figure something out um, to get rid of it. Uh, recycling issues, uh, of course China had quit taking about 90% of what they were taking and what they are taking now, the contamination laws are so bad it's hard to sell much of what you collect. Um, of course China was the world's largest um, importer for pretty much all your recyclables. Uh, I mean they took a huge amount of what, what was being sold before. Um, they were taking 4,000 shipping containers you know, a day and recyclables. Um, Um, we kind of been looking at some of the baselines like Winchester and some of the other local towns are in the same spot. Uh, one thing, one option, uh, the town has talked for public services they would be willing to take as a single stream, which the town looked at years ago. The big difference now is before years ago, you know, they would supposedly pay you for single stream. Now it would cost you $105 a ton for them to take those items. Help, help. Explain to me what does single stream mean? Uh, you don't separate the items. Okay. Um, so instead of putting them all like in a recycle trailer, you just put them all straight in the truck and you, you take them down there. Uh, with that option, like I said, you're looking, you know, based off the last four or five years when we looked at it, you're looking at 45, mid 40,000 a year uh, to pay for it per year. A uh, couple options there uh, 85 cents would cover it if you raised it. Uh, we do have $48,000 in this year's budget for a recycle trailer. Um, of course, if you go single stream it, you're not going to separate it anyway, so that money could be reallocated to pay for the first year um, to cover it without having to do anything and kind of see what the market does. We bought a truck a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh, but that, that would be one option. Uh, the other option, the town could spend the uh, curbside recycling. Uh, city of Stanton has. The city of Harrisonburg has went to uh, location pickups a couple times a week at parks. Um, the city of Winchester, they put out a, a survey, a public survey online uh, for a couple weeks to see what the residents wanted to do. Um, as of the other week when they had gotten like 70% of what the surveys they had gotten back said most people would prefer <coughs> they wouldn't want to keep the recycle. Uh, but option two would be the town could suspend it um, have the residents place their uh, recyclables in the trash, and of course, that would still be residential, so there shouldn't be any added tipping fees. Well, the advantage is you keep it and you're losing money, that's kind of redundant. Yeah. Sounds to me like that we need to could pretty much suspend it and get rid of it until the market comes back and then maybe redo it again later. But yes, I know I've talked to people over in Frederick County, and it, it really became an issue for them. Yeah, everybody. I mean, not even Virginia. I mean, it's it's in the city of New York. Just get rid of it. City of New York, the recycling program. Oh, that was just costing them 
gazillion dollars and they just uh, or, uh, city of New York. Oh. I'm down, I'm not real sure. I know a lot of them have suspended them or looking at alternatives. Well, why back. would you keep stockpiling rather than suspend until you can decide whether to go into a, a program that will work? Well, they're, they're not taking it now, so if we take it to the landfill. I'm talking about we as a town. You said you were stockpiling it mm -hmm. with the hopes you could sell it sometime in the future. Why wouldn't we suspend now until a proper plan comes up and how to handle it or not handle it? Yeah, I guess what I was referring to is recently. Since they quit taking it from us, we've been stockpiling it. Well, that's what I'm yeah, referring to. Yeah. And they've been trying to get them to take it slowly. But yeah, I'm with you. Yes, sir. I see suspending first until we come up with a plan to get. She would say something, Jim. Sorry. Uh, the only thing I was going to say, that's why we're here tonight. We, we're at a crossroads at this point. Either we stop or we decide to, to, to raise our fees to cover the expenditure. So, what's your recommendation? Do you have a, you have a recommendation? <laughs> <laughs> really, at this point, you know, it looks like we're going to have to raise rates for recyclables. I really don't know what the, the, the opinion of council is on recyclables. If we want to, to hang tight and continue recyclables, there is going to be an added expense. If we can cover that cost for the first year is what Robbie's saying with, the with, 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 with foregoing a capital expenditure. Um, go ahead, Jane. Well, you know, again, Last week, week before last, I'm not sure which, we put out a butt bags basket of recycling. Nothing was taken except a couple pieces. The rest of it was left in the box. And a note said, we do not accept these any longer. And so at that point, I haven't put anything in recycling since because if they're not going to take it, I'm not going to waste my time <coughs> worrying with a milk jug or a bottle or whatever, whatever happens. Because they, you won't take any glass anymore. And you won't take any anything as far as milk jugs that are white. You got to have a clear one. So you know it, it's really more of a detriment than an asset to, to me as a owner uh, of home. I know what my recommendation would be. I would. My recommendation is just drop it, and get rid of. Yes. Yeah. I, I I agree with that. Well, don't you have a problem though when you further read into this thing? There are some requirements about 25 percent. Recycle? Yeah. yeah right. And we've looked at that, and that's more regional and not specific. And the one thing that, that Robbie hasn't yet talked about is, is that now the Northern Shenandoah Valley Regional Commission is looking into this for a regional because it's affecting us all. When you say, I talked to Eden at the City of Winchester. They're at that same point, but what they did was they went ahead and did a survey, <coughs> and it appears that from her survey that, that the citizens are electing to pay more. Now, we need to caveat that a little bit because the city of Winchester handles their solid waste under general tax dollars. They do not operate it as an enterprise fund, so it's a little different animal than what we are at. How much approximately in capital assets do we have associated with the recycling program? Oh, what do you think, BJ? I mean, think with, the, with the recycle, uh, recycle alone, not, not refuse? Yeah, recycle yeah. alone. That's um, it. Um, we got so two trailers, a ton truck, and two, ton um, two trailers, all the bands. Uh, we had purchased a, uh, a, a new truck, yeah, a new truck, but I guess that'll just roll to refuse. So, how many personnel do you have? I'm sorry, what's your personnel rate? Personnel, how many personnel you got working recycling for three, 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 three. just three, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So not a huge capital investment at this point. We just raise rates on that. You know, cover it. Yeah. But this would really, um, we have been falling behind on some of the capital investment for solid waste, and it's been on the recycling side. We've been needing investment in recycling trailers. So if we were to put a stop to recyclables at this moment, that would help our budget in a sense. Um, with not being able, not having to invest that capital into the trailers at this point. Well, I don't see stockpiling. Yeah. I think you need to suspend immediately. So, I, that was my question. For you stockpiling 
stockpiling cardboard or all recyclables? Right now we're stockpiling until we can get an answer. Everything. Okay, I wanted to clarify that for the record. And then Thank we're trying you. to take it and to Southern Scrap as right. well. Yeah, we're, we're gradually taking to Southern Scrap. Southern Scrap hasn't actually cut us off completely, so we have been using that. And simple fact is I wasn't going to make a directive to start throwing it in the trash without council direction. Yeah, but you need a plan now, not so immediately. That's right. That's why we're here. That's why we're here tonight. And that's why I say suspend immediately until you get to a plan and don't stockpile anything and move forward. If we come up with a plan that you come back, staff comes back and recommends, then we'll pick recycling back up. But that, that's not practical, though. Because you got three men that you got to do something with. You got three, four, five trucks that you got to do something with. Do we still have openings? That's all that our manager do with it. Three of them. What would the staff do with it? If we're going to go out of the recycling, I think we need to just go out of it completely and not worry about it, period. Because right. it's not going to come back. I can tell you. So we can get Manassas to take it for a five per ton. Yes, would, it, would it make any sense for us to put recycling bins and just say at the Manassas transfer lot? And, um, like a site dump. Probably. Like a site dump. What are you going to do with it, though? So I mean, that's the problem. Well, you got that now at the uh, dumpster sites. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need direction from council. Let's put it on the next agenda for a motion. And I think it's the intent to stop it. So that's going to be the direction we'll go. And then we can have further discussion about whether we want to st stop it permanently or suspend it. This is a nationwide <laughs> deal, right? Like this, yeah, this is, is the, this, this is isn't just our city because it's been all over the news right. for a while. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm personally, I'm not ready to, to say we're never going to get back into recyclables because I do believe this market will turn around eventually once things settle down. But when is that? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a nationwide thing. Yeah. I would want to sit on capital assets that aren't being used and just put in storage for five years, ten years, and before you know it, you're going to buy No, but I don't want to make a decision tonight on it, that's what I'm saying. I, I think that we need to look at it regionally. In my perspective, we need to look at it regionally. Because there are some DEQ mandates that we have to comply regionally, so we got to make sure that we're not uh, out of compliance on that as well. Will you be prepared to put on the next agenda, or you need to next record no actually we need some direction on should we stop recyclables and start adding it to regular trash I mean we do we need can't vote tonight no, no I know that I know that but what I'm saying is we'll put that up for a vote next That's what I'm meeting. Saying. are you going to be prepared to put it at yes, the sir. next regular meeting yeah okay let's do that there we go with that you have any questions thanks appreciate it yes,